All right, so now we are in the stance phase for the knee joint. So you can see toe off, and then the foot is not in, in, in contact with the ground, this right limb. So that is considered, that's the definition of the swing phase. And so the limb is flexing. You can see more and more flexion to full flexion. It's going at a pretty fast pace. That's why it gets a lot of um, knee flexion. Um, so you're basically lifting. So this is the external load. Here's your fulcrum. You're basically trying to lift this limb so you are opposing gravity. Therefore, it's a concentric contraction. If it's a concentric contraction and you're flexing, it must be using the flexor, the muscles that create a flexor torque, and those are the hamstring muscle group. Biceps femoris, semimembranosus, semitendinosus. Um, if you're running fast, so as this gentleman is doing, or faster, a lot of times this hip or this knee flexion comes from momentum from hip flexion, and we'll talk about that a little bit later. So sometimes when you compare um, EMG tracings, there will be no active contraction of your hamstring muscles because this flexion is coming from the hip being flexed during the same same phase. All right, so let's look at the the knee joint. So we have the kinematics on top, EMG um, of the hamstrings, which is the solid line, and your vastus lateralis, so your knee flexors and your knee extensors. And so as you start to flex after foot contact, you go flexion. As we said before, it is an eccentric contraction. The joint is flexing. The joint torque or moment is extension. That is the definition of an eccentric contraction. And we can see that our um, quadricep muscle group is active during this first 10%. All right, as we extend the knee, so the knee joint goes through extension, um, your opposing gravity, it's a concentric contraction, and so the joint torque or moment must be extension. And again, you still see those quads active up to about 35%. So quads, eccentrically, concentrically, eccentric, concentric. And then we have this big knee flexion um, during um, the swing phase. And <clears throat> ideally, if there was muscle activation, it would be from the hamstrings, because you're opposing gravity, you're trying to flex that limb. But we can see there's no hamstring activity. And that has become because the flexion is coming from the momentum from the hip, which is great during running, especially if you're running fast, because it's an energy conservation mechanism. All right, and then as you go through extension, waiting for the second heel contact, your hamstrings start to engage because they are slowing down the extension of that knee joint. And so they're controlling that extension, and that would be an eccentric contraction. All right, so let's look at this moment of inertia or in, um, inertia concept. So as we learned before, moment of inertia is the mass times the distribution of that mass to the square or to this um, square power. So the mass, if you have greater mass, you have greater moment of inertia. If you double mass, you double the moment of inertia. But for this radius or distribution of mass, if you double the radius, the moment of inertia will quadruple. In the same context, if you decrease the radius, which you would decrease the moment of inertia. So think about your hip joint. All right, so from your hip joint, you have all this mass down to your foot. So if you flex the knee, that basically decreases the radius or the distribution of that mass, decreasing the moment of inertia about your hip joint, which makes it easier to advance the limb forward, which is the purpose of, of the swing phase. So the hip flexors basically um, are active. And then there's inertia that is basically flexing that knee joint, decreasing the moment of inertia, and um, allowing you to advance that limb much faster. All right, so let's look at the ankle joint. So again, um, foot contact, 
mid stance and this is getting into toe off. And so your dorsiflex and then moving into greater plantar flexion. So mid stance to toe off, you're basically trying to, again, lift this body into the air. So the function at each joint is it, during certain phases of the gait cycle are basically the same, but you just want to analyze what's going on in that particular joint motion. So you're opposing gravity, concentric contraction. So if you are opposing gravity, concept contraction, it is the gastroc soleus, which is um, active. And here are the joints. So here we have um, the gastroc soleus is in the, the solid line. Um, tib anterior is in the boxes. And so we were looking at just this mid stance to toe off phase. Um, it was a concentric contraction. The joint motion is plantar flexion. If it's concentric and the joint motion is plantar flexion, you need the muscles that create a plantar flexor torque, and those indeed are the gastroc soleus. If we look at the swing phase of the ankle joint, you're going through dorsiflexion. You are lifting that, that foot, so are you opposing gravity? And you're dorsiflexing, so you must have the tib anterior or the dorsiflexors working, which you do.